Since upgrading to Windows 11, many users have reported that their computer is slower and suffering lag in many of the programs they use and games that they play. Coming up, I'll show you more than a dozen tips to improve the performance of your Windows 11 computer, all of which you can do for free without the need to buy any new hardware or software. Let's get started. For this tip and the others coming up, we'll be starting here on the desktop screen. While the visual effects and animations do make Windows 11 look better, they do use up system resources making your computer slower. First, let's turn off those transparency effects that are used in the start menu and taskbar. To do that, open the settings app. The easiest ways to open it is to left click the start menu and select it from your pinned apps, or by right clicking the start menu and selecting it from the list, or using the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I. In the left pane, select Personalization. Go to Colors here on the right. In Transparency Effects, click the toggle to turn them off. Another way to boost performance is to change the visual effects settings. Click the Start button in your taskbar, or press the Windows key on your keyboard, and begin typing View Advanced System Settings. When it appears, select it. When it opens, you should be in the Advanced tab. In the Performance section, click on Settings. Click the circle next to Adjust for Best Performance. You'll see that these are no longer checked. Check the box next to Show Thumbnails instead of Icons. And if you don't want your fonts to be blurry, check the box next to Smooth Edges of Screen Fonts. The programs and apps that start when you boot your computer can have a negative impact on performance. To free up resources and improve your boot times, open Settings. In the left pane, select Apps. And here on the right, go to Startup. You can now see everything that is enabled or disabled when your computer boots up. Look for the programs you don't need at Startup, and click the toggle for those that are turned on to turn them off. Make sure to only disable those that you're absolutely sure that you won't need at Startup. There's a large number of unnecessary programs that run in the background that can create slowdowns or cause your system to lag. To put a stop to them, right-click the Start menu and select Apps and Features. As you can see, there's quite a few here. Go through the list and find the program that you don't want running in the background. And to the right, select the three-dot menu icon. Click Advanced Options. Look for Background Apps Permissions. Click the drop-down menu and select Never. Repeat these steps for each and every program that you don't want tying up resources in the background. To boost performance, maybe you just need a power plan that is higher performance than what you're currently using. Click the Start button and type Power Plan. Of the choices on the left, select Choose a Power Plan. To see all the plans available for your PC, click Show Additional Plans. If you're currently on Balanced, Power Saver, or something similar, switch your plan to High Performance. And if you have it available for an additional boost, select Ultimate Performance. But for now, we'll just leave it on High Performance. After selecting your power plan, click Change Plan Settings for that plan. Then click on Change Advanced Power Settings. This will open a new window. Scroll down and double-click Processor Power Management. Then double click Minimum Processor State and Maximum Processor State and make sure the setting for both is set to 100%. If not, click the percentage for each and type 100. Click Apply to save the changes if you made any. Clicking OK will also save the changes and exit the window. Removing those needless files taking up your drive could also give you a speed boost, especially if your drive is nearly maxed out. To remove temporary files, open the Settings app. In System, select Storage. Click Temporary Files. Check the box next to all of those that you want to get rid of. Then back here at the top, select Remove Files. You'll get a pop-up window that says the selected files and their data will be permanently deleted. If you're okay with that, click Continue. If you'd like to automate the process of getting rid of the files that you no longer need, let's go into Settings. 
Once again, make sure that you're in system. Go to storage. This time, instead of going to temporary files, click storage sense. In automatic user content cleanup, click the toggle to turn it on. With it enabled, Windows will automatically check your system and get rid of temporary files and junk no longer needed to free up space. You can set how often storage sense runs, how often to delete files in your recycle bin, and when to delete files in your downloads folder if they haven't been opened for a certain period of time. While you're removing needless files, this would also be a good time to get rid of the programs that you no longer use, taking up space on your drives. Once again, open the Settings app. In the left pane, select Apps. Then click Apps and Features. Now go through your entire list of programs and find the software that you want to remove. For each program that you want to get rid of, click the three-dot menu here on the right and select Uninstall. Then click Uninstall again, and just wait for it to finish. Defragging and optimizing your drives can help to speed up performance, so click on Start, and begin typing Defragment and Optimize Drive. When it shows up, click on it. If you're using a hard disk drive, those can get fragmented over time, slowing down your performance. And if you have a solid state drive, those should never be defragmented, but optimizing those can speed up performance. This PC has two drives installed. If the current status for the hard disk says OK, 0% fragmented, do nothing. Otherwise, clicking Optimize will defrag that drive. For the solid state drive, if the current status is OK, do nothing. If it says Needs Optimization, clicking Optimize will clear out blocks of data no longer being used and helps to make that drive last longer. When you reboot your PC, Windows 11 restarts the background apps that were running prior to restarting. On older PCs, it can be a benefit to you to disable this feature. Let's go into Settings. Here on the left, select Accounts. And then Sign In Options. Scroll all the way down and toggle the switch off for automatically save my restartable apps and restart them when I sign back in. Another impact to performance, albeit minor, is those notifications that not only use system resources, but can also be quite distracting. To disable notifications, open the Settings app. In System, click Notifications. Toggle the switch off for those you no longer want to get notifications from. And below that, uncheck both, offer suggestions on how I can set up my device, and get tips and suggestions when I use Windows. If you're a gamer, there are reports that the new virtualization-based security feature in Windows 11 is causing performance drops upwards of 25%. To disable VBS, click the Start menu and type Core Isolation. Select it. This new feature is intended to prevent malicious code, and for many of you, it's best to be left turned on. But if you're a gamer wanting the best performance and feel confident about your computer's security, you can turn it off. For those of you who don't play video games on your PC, turning off game mode will speed up your computer. To disable game mode, open Settings. In the left pane, select Gaming. And here on the right, go into Game Mode. Disabling it will turn off services related to Xbox in the background and stop the game DVR altogether. Many people still believe that third-party antivirus software is still needed on newer Windows operating systems, including Windows 11. The truth is, it's not. For most people, Windows security is all that they would ever need. It's built into Windows and includes Microsoft Defender Antivirus. While most third-party security programs can slow down your PC, Microsoft Defender is optimized with protection from viruses and other malware with low system impact. If you're a responsible PC user, not clicking on links wildly on the internet, or visiting sketchy websites, do yourself a favor and save your money by not buying and installing third-party security software. There may be times when Windows 11 does not load properly, making your computer slower. It's rare, but it does happen. Restarting your computer most of the time will fix the issue. To restart on Windows 11, click Start, the power icon in the lower right, and select Restart. Also, updating Windows, which could include bug fixes, is a good place to start if your PC is running slow. To check for updates, open Settings. In the left pane here at the very bottom, select Windows Update. If there's an update available, install it. 
If not, click on Check for Updates. And there might be an update available that can fix your problems. Thanks for watching. Hopefully these tips help to improve the performance of your Windows 11 computer. If they did, give this video a thumbs up and share with others. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our latest Windows 11 videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.